race does matter because it creates different outcomes from people. As it relates to health care, the historical data highlighting racial disparities and inequities is undeniable, which is why during the month of April, a specific focus is intentionally shined on minority health and black maternal health. All communities suffer if there's even one maternal death, but certainly uh, the degree to which they suffer may be different. April 11th to the 17th is Black Maternal Health Week. And while the conversation surrounding the inequities that black mothers face is relevant every day of the year, during this week, there's an even greater emphasis on empowering and educating black moms on life before during and after pregnancy. One maternal death really is one too many for our entire community. Dr. Dion Dickerson has been a practicing OBGYN in Southfield for over 20 years and says there are a multitude of reasons that black mothers are dying at such disproportionate rates. When we look at the people who are dying, um, about three times uh, is the number of uh, black women that are dying compared to white women. And so again, there you have a number that's just extremely alarming. Um, I think we need to spend more time uh, dissecting exactly why um, that number is where it's at. Dr. Dickerson and the CDC agree. There's no one answer. Lack of access to quality care, underlying chronic medical conditions, structural racism, implicit bias, and other socioeconomic factors collectively contribute, not to mention the growing need for more physicians of color. I get women uh, all the time that call the office specifically saying, you know, I am pregnant and, um, you know, I'm, I'm scared. Um, I want to make sure that I have a black doctor because when I go into labor, I want to understand um, what is going on and I want to know that I'm going to be heard uh, if I have a problem. All the more reason being proactive is just so important. In fact, the CDC says 80 more than 80% of pregnancy related deaths are actually preventable. Liz Lewin, Fox 2 News.